Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm the head chef here at Commandment Football Club and today we'll be cooking two meals with the captain of Commandment Football Club, Gary Dicker. Um, average at best to be honest with you. I'm not the worst, I'm not the best, but um, I'm well able to cook, but I won't say I'm a good cook. The key to the first dish, the poached eggs, is Make sure you boil your water, and then turn it down to a, uh, like a light simmer. Put a little bit of vinegar and it'll hold all your eggs together and then it won't break. Oh, If there was a Kelly Masterchef competition in the dressing room, who, who would you be backing to come out and talk? Uh, Stu Finley. In fairness, I think he is a good cook. He does all the cooking at home, so... He's never cooked for me, to be honest with you, but I think, uh, think Stu Finley probably. Or Borky, I think Borky likes a bit of cooking as well. So Anthony, what, what's your rating on that, that first dish from Gary? Yeah, I was actually quite surprised how well he managed to cook poached eggs. Apart from the burnt toast, obviously, but... Yeah, it was, it was pretty well, pretty good. So meal number two is a spinach and broccoli pasta bake. So it's really good for the players before a match because it's full of carbs and it's full of iron and veg. Bit of protein as well, yeah. chicken. Everything that's going on in the world, I think you can see the healthier you can eat, the better you'll be. So um, yeah, with, with obviously with my job, it's massive, but I think in life, I think just to eat healthy and to be active as well um, is a massive help. So a tip for cooking the pasta at home would be to make sure you don't cut the chicken breasts like sli into slices. Once you've cooked your chicken breasts, make sure you've torn them. So like the sauce kind of like coats the chicken better. Chris Anthony, how, how did Gary go on with that second dish? He done actually really, really well in the second dish. Um, I think he should be actually be a chef rather than a football player. It wasn't too bad to be fair. A little bit of hot in the kitchen. That's what I went for the shorts today. Uh, but um, no, I really enjoyed it obviously. People like Anthony the chef and everyone else that are about think people don't realise how important they are at a football club. The lads aren't getting fed, and they're definitely not happy. So yeah, so we made uh, two really simple meals today. Um, fill of fresh veg, um, really really simple. Um, if you want to try it at home, the recipe will be online. It's quite nice to be fair. So now the Kelly Club is now open currently seven days a week. So Monday to Sunday we have the Kelly Club Bar which you can have bar snacks and drinks inside the Kelly Club Bar but we also have a new Kelly Club Beer Garden as well. Uh, we did a refurb last season so it's really a lot of blood, sweat and tears has been into the place but it's looking fantastic now and with regards to the COVID-19 uh, policies and procedures we are now all set up, we've got our perspex screens, we've got our tables set at the social distance um, meterage as well, so we're all good to go. <laughs> yeah, definitely for me personally, and I think for all the boys, especially with local businesses helping out, and it just it helps them out with the community, just supporting them, so yeah, definitely. Yeah, settled in really well. Played uh, three pre-season friendlies, so that's just helped Ma mainly with the fitness for for me and the boys. So that's benefited us in the build-up to the first game of the season, which is which is obviously a massive sort of opener to, to kick-start the season and for, for us to push on and do well. So I've been uh, following Kilmarnock since the early 80s. I've seen a lot of different strips, a lot of different sponsors. So for me to get my brand on the first team strip, it's an extremely proud moment for myself and my family, so just to see that visibility, fantastic. Alex, the, the new season's almost here. H how would you describe your emotions ahead of this first game? Uh, emotions are full of joy. Uh, I'm so proud to, to lead out the team, you know, to be manager of this good football club. Um, I just want us to, to work hard and, and do the best we can. It's been much publicised this week that sadly not all of our supporters will be able to watch Saturday's match. 
how much would they be in your thoughts as, as you kind of prepare for this game and then the game itself? Always in my thoughts. So, um, I, I'm saddened that they can't watch the game because um, obviously they've missed it for so long, you know, like everyone else. And for the first game of the season, it's always nice to watch the first game and, and support your team. So I am disappointed in that. But, you know, I'm, all I will say is that we'll do our best on Saturday. We'll, we'll give it 110%, you know, and try and get the right result and, and to make sure that our supporters who are at home have a, have a lovely weekend. Players, staff and, and officials have the opportunity this weekend um, to make a, a statement in support of the fight against racism. How how powerful a message could, could Scottish football send out this weekend and join the fight that we've seen across the world? Well, it's a big, big statement because it, all, all eyes are going to be on Scottish football. I think it's the only really lonely league out there. Sky's put on a good coverage as usual. So it's important that Scottish football do their part, you know, and... and and show their stance against it. Um, it is a big issue. It's always has been a big issue, and it and it's and it's about time that you know that people are coming together and, and taking responsibility. And it, it doesn't mean whether it, you know just because you're black, it's about a black thing. It's not. It's a, it's 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 about fairness in life. You know, no one wants to be given anything. You just want um, fairness. That's all it is. You know, and respect. You know, it doesn't matter what colour you are, as long as you're getting respect and, and you can go about your, your everyday business, you know, knowing that someone else is trying to, to stop that and, and, and discriminate against that. That's, that's the most important thing, you know. You, you, you come in every day, you get up, you work hard and you, you, you just want, want what's, what's entitled to you.